Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Downtown Kedapathos. It is a spectacular day, but the weather is not the weather that you want. Feast your eyes and digest as the little boats which are anchored down are bobbling around in the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. There's a lot of dust in the sky, and of course, on top of all of that, the Sotchinkus Sibiella booth is so well monkeyed around, that's for sure. Let's watch and hope that she doesn't get into trouble. Are you coming back, Grisivi Alibu? Oh my God, man. If you want to see some stupidity in the world, well, come and watch the little channel known as Marika and me. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again. And again, we are the two idiots in extreme world. We're like extreme holiday bloggers in downtown Kedapathos, but it is spectacular day. And I must say that Grisio Le Bouf is looking very, very beautiful and very, very colourful and very, very monkeyish today. Let's go and have a little walk along this coastal pathway. And this is the coastal pathway to the rear of the Louis Fighton Beach Hotel. Have you seen how the boats are shaking all over? Not shaking? Have you not seen how we're shaking all over in the wind? And you're holding this shaker. I'm holding it with two hands and it's still bobbling yeah, around, know, that's for sure. Just over there is the Rickos Beach and the various bars and bits and bobs along there. And if you keep going out there, well, not today, obviously, but normally it's packed with people sunbathing and enjoying a meal or two. I guess I was going to say that not too many water sports uh, companies is going to be successful today. And uh, I'm afraid if it's going to continue like that, they are they're going to be Sherlock Holmes in all over. They are indeed. Now, I was talking to Harris in the King's Restaurant in the Harbour yesterday, and he was saying, oh, the weather's a bit rubbish. And I said, if the weather continues as it is this year, and uh, if many more people find out of it, Cyprus may as well shut down permanently, because the weather, well, it's a little bit chopsy-mopsy this month, that's for sure. And there's people starting to complain. But please sit with us, we promise you, that within a few days, we think that the weather's going to pick up. And we think that you're going to come down to Paphos, and you're going to get a truly, truly spectacular holiday indeed. Let's watch the rear end of Ochsing Grisivi Le Bouf as she guides us along the coastal pathway, with a bit of off-roading as well. Don't you remember with us? Paul with small R, he said to you not to talk about the rear end, only the front ends. Oh, there we are. Oh well, sorry Mr. Paul with the small R. There we are, Louis Fighton Beach Hotel, and this is the coastal pathway that's going to take us past the TAS water sports. And as you can see, well, they're not very operational today. They're here looking after their well, dinghies and their jet skis, making sure they don't get washed up in downtown Israel. Now, I know a man who's gone over to Israel, and his name is Viking Ronnie, and perhaps he's hoping for a jet ski or two for free. So, this is the TAS water sports operation, and it operates to the rear of the Louis Fighton Beach luxury four-star beachside, as its name would suggest, hotel. And we're going to join the coastal pathway, and we'd like you to come for a little walk with us in case we're going to go along and have a look at the wedding area because we know a superstar and his name is Stephen and he's going to come down with the Miss Jacqueline very, very soon and get married. And they are going to be known as Mr and Mrs Miller. So a big, big shout out to my friend and superstar, the chief of all the policing on the Marika and Me channel, Mr Ronnie Miller. There we are. That is the rear of the Louis Fighton Beach luxury hotel and it is a very very nice hotel indeed even on a windy day like today you know people are trying to sunbathe and i don't understand they don't understand how strong is the wind and they risking to get burned by the way i mean this wind it's, it's actually battering the life out of us by the way but the view is still spectacular feast your eyes and digest this is the rear of the louis fighton beach luxury Four Star Resort Hotel and we know Mr and Mrs Ford they stayed here last year they said it was spectacular and one of our favourite favourite superstars the one known as Lord Dave Jono stayed here yes he did and I remember that he nearly enjoyed it he nearly enjoyed it yes he did he actually checked out on the last few days and booked in somewhere else there you go Dave Jono is a very very difficult man to please and he likes to stay in five star luxury hotels and the wind's getting stronger. It doesn't 
doesn't actually look like a complainer, man. What's happened with uh, Dave John? When he well, unfortunately, he hung on to a cupboard in his kitchen and then he fell over. But he's all right. No. When he was staying here, he couldn't hang on the cupboard. Oh, when he was here. Yeah. I think they didn't have his favourite tot of brandy or, or something there. like that. That's what I think it was. There we are. There's a young lady actually been in the waters. Let's feast our eyes and digest. Especially if your name is Dave Jono. There you go. That's that special, special Dave Jono view. Oh the wind is absolutely battering us, isn't it? It battered the living daylights out of us. And then this goes back to off-roading to the rear of the Louis Fighton Beach Hotel. And of course, this is the area where Stephen and Jacqueline are going to get married very, very soon indeed. Wow, this wind just picked it up. And there's the dancing chuchotchka girl known as Miss Ochin Grassivia Labou. I don't know, the weather's really gone crazy and we have to shout. Mr. Paul's ears going and my eyelashes. You know, I can show that, stay like that and show to the people how that. Are my ears flapping, yeah, yeah, are they? Show. I'm doing like a Prince Charles or a King Charles, you know, right? There we are. <laughs> very funny do my ears doing the same no your hair is flapping around around the back though my hair my hair is okay but uh, when you have a long long ear, ears it's going at the end well this is an area where you're gonna be asked dearest ladies are you gonna get married with such and such men and you say no because I want the biggest diamond in the world and you like big things don't you that's for sure the wind I mean I don't think you can grasp it on the camera, but the wind is absolutely going crazy. And Grisivia Le Bouffe now is blowing around like a complete and absolute lunatic. Even the trees can't hold her up. Downtown Kedapathos on a spectacular day, but spectacular for all of the wrong reasons. And there goes the hat. There it is over there, the famous blue hat of Mr. Paul. Let's get it back on my little bots. There we go. It is very, very windy indeed. It's unbelievably windy, isn't it? It's not windy. It looks like a storm. Storm, you know? Yes. It looks a storm. But uh, I'm now... We're getting I'm, battered. I'm now worried about my rat is run away. Oh, I can see his two eyes. He's he's hanging on for his dear life, that's for sure. So, this is the Louis Fighton Beach Hotel. You can see there's a volleyball course and there's an awful lot of people trying to enjoy the sun and the pool. And there's the slides up there. It really, really is a great hotel. And perhaps today is not the best day to enjoy it. But most of the people seem to be making the very, very best of it. And the wind, well, it is blowing the living daylights out of us. The speed of it, the speed of it, it's... Uh, I cannot, I cannot explain you. It's gale force. You know, you know, it's scary because if you're a little baby, I'm not 20 kilos, I'm not 15 kilos, but I think it's gonna take me away. It's gonna wind me away. So, if you want some gale force winds, get yourself down to Kedapapos because to be honest, the sea is that little bit blue. The sky is ever so slightly blue. As tradition go, Mr. Paul is dressed head to toe in blue, so all it's actually missing all is you! All it's missing is you! So get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because even the wind shouts that it's waiting for you. It is indeed. And you can tell all the people in that hotel there, or primarily are British, because they're all trying to literally enjoy the day. They accept a bit of wind and they accept a little bit of rain. And guess what? It was raining before. There she is, getting blown away on the coastal pathway. Although there's not much of a coastal pathway here, as you can see. You have to do a little bit of off-roading. You come round to the little church with a little brew roof. And then you get to join the coastal pathway. And from this hotel, if you're curious to know, if you want to walk to the Paphos Promenade, it's going to take you around about 30 minutes to the harbour, about 40. My goodness, it's such a beautiful view. If you observe here, from here, the sea, it's, uh, you can observe the little waves, uh, noticing the white form, every little wave. But it's very, very annoying. The ladies will understand me. Oh my goodness. Let's take you to the water's edge and let you enjoy the beauty 
and the spectacality as the blue blue Mediterranean Sea kisses and laps and literally knocks the living daylights out of the coastline of downtown Kedapapos on a truly truly spectacular day but for all the wrong reasons in downtown Kedapapos and if you're curious to know what the temperature is we understand it's very very windy and there's quite a lot of dust blowing around but if your name is Mr. you got a husband called Mr. Sean, a little cat called Miss Daisy and a dog called Bobo who is rumoured to be buying me another coffee with someone's plastic friend very, very soon. It is around about 25 degrees, so the temperature is pretty good. Here comes the beauty. Oh, oh dear. I don't know. I don't know actually. It's going to be a lovely beach, but this beach needs to be recovered from the wind first and I've seen apples, I've seen bananas, I've seen the sleep flip flops, I've seen a t-shirt over there just a few meters away. Everyone's flying around in the wind. That's because everything is flying around but the sea today is unbelievably spectacular and I would love to watch it by hours and I mean it by hours because this is a the nature which has got a huge power and it makes your cow to calm down. So if you'd like to keep the channel afloat, why not go through like Mr. Bobo, that very, very clever dog from up, uptown Derbyshire and he now and again goes and borrows someone's credit card and buys us a coffee or two on the Buy Me A Coffee platform and you can also choose to be a superstar member for only 10 euros a month. What a bargain. Well, I would like to thank all the people who did support this channel, who are trying to support and who is thinking to support. But we know, and you know, this is how you support the channel to grow up. And let's not be funny, but many, many people would like to do it, would like to support this channel because we are the best together with you, our lovely family. And I'm glad to say to you, that we are over 2,000 uh, members of family and we are getting and getting only bigger because we should be the big. I can't hold this camera much longer. I know. Big, big goodbye. And I would like to tell you many, many kisses from the bottom of our two hearts. Thank you again and again. And please, please, don't forget to come and see another of our Madness. Especially for the Lord known as Damon Ritchie. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very, very soon. Hopefully on not quite such a windy location in downtown Kedapapos. Wow, she's a beauty and the weather is spectacular. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very, very soon indeed. The dancing, the prancing, the pirouetting, professorising, the sochin, recivia, la bouffe. I think she's saying she loves you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.